saying, Salam scholars, I am Yinka from Abuja. My question is on prophets' languages. Was Hebrew the means of communion from God to Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus Christ? And were all the scriptures revealed in Hebrew language? Why was Hebrew discarded in favor of Arabic as a language of communion from God in the Quran? Malang Ali Muhammad, let me come to you for the answer to this question. Uh, Alhamdulillah, this is a very good question. And uh, in Islamic perspective, we know God created us and He divided us into nations and tribes as mentioned in the Quran. In chapter number 49, verse number 13, Allah says, Ya ayyuhal nasu inna khalaqanakum min dhakarin wa unsa all humankind we have created you and we made you into male and females uh, and we made you uh, nations and tribes so that you know each other not that you despise each other in the the best of you is the one who is most righteous is the pious one they are the best amongst you, not color, not a tribe, not a creed, but only God consciousness, God righteousness. That is what will make one of you the best. And it is also mentioned in chapter number 30, verse number 22. God created us among his signs, among his signs, signs, not science, signs, S-I-N-G, signs. So among his signs, he created us and he gave us different colors and different languages. So this is one of the signs of God. He gave us different languages and different colors. So this is one of the miracles of the Quran. Quran did not say there is a story that men were building the Chowa like what is mentioned in the Bible. It's mentioned in the Bible uh, after the flood, all the people from the creation of the first man, Adam, they were speaking the same language, one language. So after the flood, they decided in Babylon to build a tower. They made a bridge and they start building the tower. They wanted to reach the heaven. So God recognized that they will create problem. Then he decided to disperse them, to scatter them, so that no one person can hear the language of the yeah. other. This is mentioned in the book of Genesis, chapter number 11, from verse 1 to 10. It says all this, they were speaking one language, but when they built the Torah, they wanted to go to heavens, God scattered them, and they start speaking different languages. No one will understand the other. Madam. We are talking about language, you know, where God dispersed um, those who were trying, who were building tower to, you know, in a bid to reach in God. And God dispersed the, the, the people and to a point that they could not really understand one another, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, the, the fallacy in this uh, story, though it comes in the book of Genesis chapter 11, verse number one to ten uh, i say fallacy because bible is telling us in the book of first timothy chapter number three verse 16 all scriptures are given by god to prove and uh, to give right. the inspiration so this uh disprove this verse as the word from god and uh bible is also telling us in the book of ephesians chapter 5 verse 21 it says prove all things and believe in what is true so i say this because of all these verses because if the people were dispersed by god and they were not able to understand one another that means all the people from the same tribe cannot understand one another we cannot have a language spoken by so many people like hausa yoruba we will have only person speaking Yoruba, no one can understand him. 
you have only person speaking English, speaking French, and all these languages without another person understanding what he is telling him. But in the Quran, we are we, we, we are divided into nations and tribes. We have nations that speak the same language. We have tribes that speak the same language at once. But in the Bible, it says God dispersed that people. They were scattered so that no one can understand another. So this is uh, what uh, made you made, made made me say so, and uh, we know Hebrew was the language of Abraham, according to the Bible. He was speaking Hebrew, and uh, Hebrew is the sister language of Arabic. And God told us in the Quran, Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian. In chapter number three, verse number sixty-seven. ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان هنيفا مسلما. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was upright Muslim. He was submissive to God Almighty. So if Abraham was submissive to God Almighty, and we are not given the clue regarding the language spoken by Adam and Noah and other prophets, but Abraham was upright and he was speaking Hebrew. And Hebrew is the sister language of Arabic. So Abraham, being from Chaldeans or of Chaldeans in Iraq nowadays, is the place where Abraham came from. He was born there, so he was not even a Jew, but he is more of Arab Arabic tribe than than the Jews. So if he was speaking Hebrew and Hebrew language. It's like Arabic, but with slight differences. We say salam in Arabic. We say shalom in Hebrew. We say nabim in Hebrew. We say uh, nabiyin in Arabic. There are many things that we share. Uh, if you hear a Jew uh, speaking Hebrew, you will understand some Arabic words uh, among these Malab, languages. Is Hebrew Hebrew as a language is the original language of the Jews? Yes, it's the original language of Abraham, but like well, Abraham was not a Jew. He was not a Jew, but the Jews they were speaking Hebrew among their prophets after Abraham, even Moses, even prophets after Moses, even Solomon, David. But before the time of Jesus, there is a language with a slight differences that is Aramaic. Because Jesus spoke Aramaic. Aramaic was this was the language spoken by Jesus, but it was not a pure Hebrew, but with slight differences. But we can call them all Hebrew language, but that language was Aramaic. So Jesus was speaking Aramaic, and uh, Angel was revealed in Aramaic because we are told in the Quran all 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 the people were given. The book or the scripture uh, from the language they, they, they are speaking. So uh, this Aramaic mm. is also another version of the Hebrew. Yes, it's another spoken version. by the Jews. Yes, like 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 English of British and English of, of America. America. Yes. yes, it is. But so they, they, they both Hebrew and Aramaic. They are both spoken so by by the Jews. Yes, they were both spoken by the Jews. Okay. So even to, even in jail, the book given to Jesus was not was not written first in his language. It was first written in Greek, but Jesus did not speak Greek. But Quran was in Arabic. It was revealed in Arabic, and it was preserved in Arabic. And we read it up to this time in Arabic. No matter whether you are from Chinese, you are from America, you are from France, you are from. Any other tribe or nation, you must recite Quran in Arabic. It's original text. That's why it was preserved. It was uh, maintained. It's uh, it's original text, and this <coughs> is one of the proofs. Uh, Arabic is the pure language, other than other languages. And in the book of Zephaniah, chapter number three, verse number nine, in the Bible, it says, "At the end of time, what will make?" The language of the people to worship him in one language. In another version of the Bible, it says shoulder to shoulder. We worship when we pray shoulder to shoulder. 
in the good news bible it says shoulder to shoulder but in king james in new international in reverse standard in roman catholic and other versions the word shoulder to shoulder is not there but in other versions it is there but the point is all people who will concentrate and worship God in one language. What is that language? It's Arabic. All people around the world, they, we, we are worshiping God in Arabic. We pray in Arabic. We, we, we call to pray in Arabic. We, do, we, we even greet each other in Arabic. Assalamu alaikum. This is our form of greeting. It's Arabic. So this is the best language among the languages, Arabic, as proven even by scientists. It was not lost, but the language of uh, Hebrew was lost when, uh, when, 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 when Jerusalem was invaded in 70 AD and even the language was almost lost. After that they revived it, but Arabic is spoken all over the world and the book of Muslims is in Arabic up to this time. <laughs>